We are absolutely loving our lives with our little horse. He's become a regular inside our house. We think he's potty trained. <laughs> Einstein has been with Rachel and Charlie now for just over two years. And from day one, they felt like it was meant to be. Within hours, within moments, some part of me just felt like this is my, this is my child, this is, this is my guy. But having just found him, Rachel soon realised she was going to have to share him. The breeders uh, daughter had taken a picture of him and sent the photo into the local newspaper and the photo made it around the world. Um, so within 48 hours of his birth we had satellite trucks, AP, all the major photographers and TV networks there. We had 4,000 uh, people lined up in the freezing cold rain. Um, I was really protective of Einstein, so I didn't want to have a whole bunch of people around him. It felt like we definitely had a rock star in the family. They soon got used to their new way of life with their mini superstar. But something happened which almost tore their world apart. We went out to go see him one morning and he, um, he wasn't moving, he wasn't getting up. The vet diagnosed severe spinal injury, probably due to his mother falling on him. We were told the chance of him surviving uh, would be about akin to capturing lightning in a bottle. Uh, it, was, it was almost impossible, and it was high, we were highly urged uh, to put Einstein down. But there was no doubt in their minds that whatever the cost, they had to try and save Einstein's life. Einstein underwent an intensive six-hour operation, which involved inserting five metal screws into his tiny frame. It was a miracle. He was alive. I was so proud of him. His little spirit just would not give up. He was in intensive care for two months, and um, in a body cast. And his mother, Finesse, was with him, and they had to milk her and feed him through a tube in his nose because he hadn't weaned yet. He was just a baby. And he didn't just survive. He positively thrived. He does not know his size. No. He's like a chihuahua on steroids. It's not important to me at all whether or not Einstein is the smallest horse in the world. All we care about, seriously, is that he's happy. <laughs> Come on, Lily.